Oh, it looks like they showed gameplay. Plus, you don't need to be a Jedi for lightsabers. No, like you legitimately do. That's like one of the core components of the lightsabers. Only the Jedi can wield them. I'm Didi Deanfeld, game director, and I'm excited to reveal what's waiting for you on Pandora. Or Sith. Well, you know what I mean. Force sensitive. When the RDA expands their operations to the Western frontier. John Mercer, one of the leaders of the RDA. Abduct you and other Navi children Finn? from your home. Finn was literally to revealed to be force sensitive in the last movie. You might have forgot. You and turn you against because it was people. such an ass pull. But his plan is interrupted by the Battle of the Hallelujah Mountains, and you are put into emergency cryosleep. When you awaken 15 years later, you are a stranger in your birthplace. Knowing the dangers posed by the RDA, you set out to take them down and look to secure the help of other Navi clans. Initially, you're perceived as an outsider, so you have to reconnect with your lost Navi heritage to gain their trust. On your adventure, you'll find your own path as you discover what it Pretty means world. to be Navi. You'll explore new regions of Pandora, each with their own unique bodies. What about General Grievous? The King Law oh, Forest Grievous was a machine, a right? rainforest. Brimming with life and dense well, no, he was a, he in still the shade, had human parts, or not human parts, some mountains. kind of organic parts. What the fuck was Grievous? This is the home of the Arana. I don't think he was a full machine. A clan of peaceful weavers who will guide you on your first hunt and on your first flight. The Aranahe will show you the way to the Rookery, where you can bond for life with your very own Ikram. The Ikram is a devoted companion that you can name feed and customize experiment with acrobatics and feel a rush of adrenaline as you dive from the sky and explore the open world of pandora from the air if you travel north you'll get to the other he's a cyborg who isn't force sensitive i don't know enough about grievous i'll take your word for it though but a dark saber is not the same thing as a lightsaber right dark saber doesn't use a kyber crystal or something what the fuck is the difference god it's been so long since i looked at this shit gigantic beasts called sacru Earn the clan's trust, and they will teach you the art of riding dire horses. And further west, the mysterious clouded forest, where hidden in the mist... It's a dark energy blade ancient saber used by Mandalorians. Doesn't say about the kyber crystal or some shit. I'll just assume it's a lightsaber and clan of healers uh, uh, with their assume that I was wrong, that anyone can use it very well if they train enough. Even though I think the very first movie established that only force-sensitive people could effectively use it, maybe that's just not the case. resources at any cost, spreading devastating pollution. In the process, animals are hurt and poached. You'll need to stop the RDA from ravaging your home, and when you are ready, you will take the fight to them. As a child of two worlds, you can learn to master multiple combat styles. Your powerful instincts allow you to get an overview of the battlefield, mark your enemies, and identify weak points. Traditional Navi weapons are versatile and precise. You can use the longbow to hit long-range targets, or the staff sling to set up traps. For a more explosive I mean, approach, this doesn't look bad. You leverage your human training and go for the blast of an assault rifle. I kind of feel the same way I did about the Star Wars open world. It just seems kind of stiff. And foot? You can also rely on your incredible strength to take down amp units. Above the clouds, oh, yeah, it feels like it would have been a hit back in 2011. Against the RDA. Destroying RDA facilities will have a tangible impact on your world. With the pollution removed, Pandora heals. You'll be able to harvest the best quality material again and craft better gear. Just fucking weapons. Far Cry. You will well, also find yeah, kinda, ingredients to cook bit. and make meals to get stronger. As you keep discovering what it truly means to become Navi, you'll improve your skills by connecting to Ewa through the Tarshu plant and learn from the memories of your ancestors. Skill upgrades can improve many aspects of your character, such as your natural agility to move through the world, your stealth approach when hunting or fighting, 
or the handling of your weapons and mounts. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora is a captivating action-adventure game designed to maximize the power of new-gen consoles and PC. You will be able to play the full story campaign is in single 30 player FPS locked. or with a friend online in two-player co-op. We invite you to explore this world of wonder. Become Navi and take down the RDA to protect Pandora. Ulysses and Zack. It's from Massive, so it'll probably be actually optimized. Good. I mean, yeah, it doesn't look bad, but I'm not, like, super hype about it. It just seems kind of stiff. But, I mean, that's the first gameplay we've seen, so... Maybe it's actually a lot better. Yeah. Than what that leads on. Uh, it probably will follow the standard Ubisoft formula. They They have still not beaten those allegations. Every fucking Ubisoft open world plays exactly the same. Maybe this is the one to finally break it, but even in this gameplay trailer, it seemed like it's just going to go same way. Go here, destroy base, liberate base, rinse and repeat. Let me look at this gameplay before I forget. That worked. Exit Prime. Easy. The resub yeet. <coughs> There's a lot of Star Wars games on the way, brother. Hit that button. Nice one. Hang on. Yeah, I'm gonna play the Cyberpunk DLC when it comes out. Looks very good. Do they only show stealth? That'd be very underwhelming. Okay, okay, there we okay go. we'll figure this out. Shield. And this looks pretty. Standard. Hey Nick! Catch! This is getting bad. Who's playing the game right now? What the fuck? <laughs> They're not moving. Just aim a little higher. But what is going on? Yeah, goddamn, they got the IG interviewers playing this one here. Well, right? Christ. This is an MMO, right? Or not an MMO. A, um,. Open world game, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. That was close. Andy five, I got the package. Where are you? Were you, were you in Jonta's Hope? Were you seen? I said I got it. What else matters? Should I assume we won't be working for the Pikes anytime soon? Um. Well, they'll probably forgive me. There's John's hope. I like the idea of a Star Wars open world. I hope it's not executed poorly. Gameplay seems a little stiff so far, but 
I mean, it's still early, I guess. Let me see some other, like, a like action. Myself. on the sensors yet oh a hyperdrive button huh anybody on the sensors now tie fighters on us got one i feel inclined to remind you that we should shake the empire quickly thanks i'm working on it let's okay so some space combat Someone said, wish we had seen lightsaber combat. Is there going to be lightsaber combat in there? It looks like you play as just like a, like a rebel. So you'd only have guns, right? I don't think there's going to be lightsaber con combat. <laughs> 